Hey there everyone, it's me, Giovanni, here at Haverford Township Free Library, and welcome back to one of our Teens Reading Roundups. Now, the books that I have chosen out for us today, there's not a particular theme, these just have topics that are a little more heavy set, a little bit more realistic to daily living, so I thought we'd focus on these just for a little bit. I have a good mix of two graphic novels and two regular fiction novels from the teen section that I think you guys would really like, uh, so we'll start out with uh, this one. This one is called The Boy by Lauren Maris, ah, uh, Miracle, if that's how it's pronounced. Now, this one is definitely a bit more uh, realistic when it comes to high school. This is all about a freshman senior going through his uh, years until senior year. His name is Paul Walden. This book is a coming of age story that kind of talks about his problems, about going through a divorce with his parents, about meeting new friends and getting along with those friends, but then conflicts coming up when you might like a might like someone that that friend likes and then that slowly drifts you guys apart so this one kind of goes this one goes into it really well of what it's like to go through high school and kind of start out fresh and kind of have to make your own reputation for yourself with new people and kind of keep that going and through actual high school uh, the next thing we'll talk about is one of our graphic novels now this one is called The Dark Matter of Mona Starr uh, by Laura Lee Coolidge. I really like this one. The illustration is very bold with the line work, so you can easily see what everything is, and it kind of helps just drive the story to what the point is, that it's very serious, that it's very uh, bold, mind you. Uh, now this one is an intimate visual exploration of depression. This one is an introspective uh, graphic novel of Mona Starr, who is a sensitive a high schooler with a floppy bob who likes journaling and making art and music but still can't seem to get past the matter. Uh, this book talks a lot about self-care, therapy, it goes into kind of understanding when you get into a dark spot when it's very hard to get yourself out of that place and different ways to get yourself out of that place. So if you're into that this would definitely be a graphic novel worth looking into. Now, the next novel that we have here, this one's definitely a, a bigger one if you're into those. This one is called All the Days Past, All the Days to Come, written by Mildred D. Taylor. This one's a bit more of a historical fiction novel overall. This one, I believe, uh, takes place originally in the 1960, yep, around the voter registration and civil rights movements. So this one definitely talks a bit more about racial issues, things that you've had, possibly had to see recently when it comes to people getting their fair right and getting their vote in as well, making sure that their voice is heard. This one uh, follows uh, follows Casey Logan. Uh, sorry, it uh, goes through Mississippi into California. It kind of goes into her own personal problems, but also following uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, stuff like that. So this is definitely, if you're into history at all, this is the one for you. On to our last graphic novel. You've all probably heard this one before, but I think it's always a good one. This is Long Way Down, originally written by Jason Reynolds, who I'm sure you've heard about before, and then illustrated by uh, uh, Danica Novgorodov. Na ah, Novgorodov. <laughs> Make sure we pronounce those right. Now, if you've ever written any of Jason Reynolds' things before, you realize that he does a really good job of showing uh, perspective of black youth a lot of the time of growing up either through normal neighborhoods or the projects. This one follows uh, Will's uh, Will who is the main character that has to go through his neighborhood after his brother Sean is killed. He then kind of has to follow the rules that are kind of set by them. Don't cry, don't snitch, get revenge, stuff like that. Rules of the street that you have to follow. So if you've read the original one before I think this one would be a really good one to go into because it's not like it's not really trying to fill out each page with dialogue, it's trying to let the art speak for itself sometimes of just how everything kind of happens throughout the story of how Will has to kind of discover what it means to be himself while also dealing with the pressures of sticking to your clique or your gang like that. So these books talk about some serious topics, but let, let us know what you guys think. These definitely will be on our shelf, so if you'd like to walk on in, you can definitely grab these, have them for the full three weeks like normal. Uh, if you'd like to leave us a message at all, you could always reach us on our social media platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram at Haverford Township Free Library. And of course, you can go to HaverfordLibrary.org to uh, reach our website if you want to find, find out any information there. All right, well, I think that's enough time for today. I've been Giovanni. I hope that you guys have a nice rest of your day today. Bye-bye now.